This training camp preview is presented by Play It Again Sports in Greensburg. Stop in, gear up, go play. 2022 was a breakthrough season for Greater Latrobe and their first-year head coach, Ron Prady, as the Wildcats not only won seven games, but they captured an elusive playoff victory for the first time in decades. Although the team must replace a 1,500-yard rusher this season, they have plenty of skill back to make another run in 4A. A 28-21 overtime upset of Highlands gave Prady and the Wildcats their first postseason W since 1968. Although a loss against Thomas Jefferson in the quarterfinals ended the historic season, Greater Latrobe repeated as the 7-on-7 passing champs over the summer, and the focus is on taking the next step in 2023, according to receiver Ben Stratton. Uh, we built off of it, knowing our mistakes that we went into last year. Um, we wanted knowing, we wanted to come out and win. Now we just have to work harder for it and keep on going through the playoffs, get more games in. A big component of the offensive success, both last season and this summer, has been QB John Wetzel. The dual threat signal caller gained more confidence as a passer as 2022 progressed, and that should continue this year with Jaton Williams, Stratton, and Alex Tash as primary receivers. Replacing dynamic Robbie Fulton in the backfield will be a challenge, but the duo of Brady Prohovic and Chris Cochran are ready for their chance, um, says Williams. We're moving on pretty well. We have Brady back there. He's going to run hard. Chris, Izzy, they're all going to run hard. And then John, he's going to run hard. All of us are going to like block for them, run our plays well. The play in the trenches will also be crucial, as linemen like Ben Garrow will be counted upon. Tash, meanwhile, will anchor the defense from his linebacker spot. He exploded onto the scene as a sophomore last year, and he has the look of a major Division I prospect. With Class 4A powerhouses TJ and McKeesport in the conference, the Wildcats will need to maximize every snap to ascend to their level. But a taste of playoff success has been a driving force. Uh, honestly, it starts with our JV scout team. They give us the best looks we can get. I mean, you can't train perfectly what they're, what they're going to do to us, but they... We tell them if they're the reason we win, if we're practicing good against us and they're giving us the best look, we're going to have a good uh, final on Friday. The Wildcats begin their season with a Week 0 home contest against rival Derry Area. They'll follow up against Franklin Regional and Hempfield, and they will begin the conference ledger at home against Thomas Jefferson. This training camp report is brought to you by Play It Against Sports in Greensburg.